I just came to the conclusion that you can't feed the side you don't want to be. And what I mean by that is it's always, I feel like it's always been a fact or sort of something known that there are two sides to every person. One side that wants to go do all the bullshit. I guess you call that the effeminate side. Because your emotions are the things that control us. You're well and everything. And there's um, a great quote by an ancient philosopher. He believed he was Greek. I can't remember if it was Epictetus or um, Seneca. But it says... A man who is a wise man, basically, I'm of course paraphrasing, it's not word for word, but basically a wise man stays away from his temptations and the fool is a slave to them. What that means is everyone has fucking temptations. God knows me as an 18 year old with all this fucking energy all day, has its temptations. But I don't give in to them. I know that even though right now I'm not exactly content with what these, um, with the fruits of my sacrifices, I know that one day I will be. And I know this is all for the greater good. What I mean by the greater good is when I'm sitting with my kids 30 years in the future because I do plan on having kids and I do plan on staying on the path I am until I'm married because I do plan on getting married young. I don't want to wait till I'm 30 and listen to the culture over here that I've heard in the West America where it says uh, fuck around basically till you're 28, 30 then settle down and get married. I would much rather not. I um I would much rather not because I don't want to be the guy sitting there preaching to my kids about how it's bad to stay away from fucking cigarettes and weed and beer and alcohol and DMT and shrooms and ketamine when I just did that shit 30, 20, 30 years ago. So right now I'm giving this up, this shit up, so I don't have to go through the hypocrisy of being a father telling his children not to do this type of shit when he did it when he was their same age. You lead by example, not by words. And if you really want to be a good example, you don't you don't do what you would want your children or the person who considers you a role model to do. You don't do it. Period. Not when you're young, it's not an excuse. What's wrong is wrong, and it stays wrong. Even if you're young, if you're old, no matter where you are or who you are, your virtues and values must stay the same. There's no room for you to be indecisive. A man's last decision is never indecisiveness, never. So if you want to be the guy that's all indecisive, who's half, who's a, who's a foot in the pond and a foot on land, then you're a fucking coward. You're a fucking coward. You either strap your balls on and go on the path and take the journey and give up the shit that you want to do. And you have to acknowledge that you want to do it. You can't just fucking shut it out and I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't want You're going to fucking pop. You're going to fucking explode. You have to acknowledge the fucking fact that you want to do it and say, I am I want to do it, but I'm going to fucking stay away from it. And I'm not going to do it. And you give yourself a reason, a better purpose. That's another thing. You have to have a fucking purpose and a set of fucking values to back you up every single fucking day you wake up. Or you want to be the guy that just has no, has no direction in life. The guy that's just sitting around at 30, uh, working at 40, not even 30, 30, you're probably still in your prime if you're a fucking bitch. 
But if by the time you're fucking 40, you just want to be working or working a fucking nine to five, allows you with your fucking life. But hey, at least I got a good youth out of it. Well, bravo. You got a good youth. But now your fucking wife is a whore and a slut. So are all your kids. Maybe I took that to the extreme of it. But you get my point. You can't be wishy-washy with this type of shit. You cannot be wishy-washy with this type of shit because this shit is your fucking life. And if you don't give an ounce of a motherfuck about your life, then what else are you going to give a fuck about? There's an old, um, an old saying Ali just told me. It says, um, it went to this wise old man and they told him basically This is the moral the, the, I, I'm paraphrasing a lot during this, but um <laughs> basically every person has their struggles and those two struggles are embodied in your mind. Uh and the embo uh, and the embodiment is two wolves, a black wolf and a white wolf. And they say which one wins, because they're always in constant battle. So how do you know which one is going to win? It's the one you feed. So you've got to feed what you want to become and let what you don't want to become starve. Starting today, you can't say, well, one day I will be a man. I will be a man who's purpose driven, who has ambition. You start today by letting go of who you were and becoming who you are. Every day you wake up and you do what's in front of you. You don't just wishy-washy and you don't become all wishy-washy and indecisive and just say well whatever life throws at me I'll, I'll do whatever you had your purpose and with your purpose aligned you wake up and you do the things that align with your purpose done